Welcome back. This is Rich again, back for an exclusive YouTube video blog. Tonight's YouTube video blog is about local news in your city or town, and it's about the future of local news in your city and town where you live. Tell you what I see what's going to happen in the next several years and how it's covered. But first, this message of importance. Listen to Crystal's Time Machine every Friday and Saturday night from 9 to 11 p.m. on WCAP 980, where everybody gets it. If you can't catch the show live, Listen to the podcast exclusively on archive.org. Goes back to October 2015. Follow Crystal on Twitter at Crystal Amy John and Machine Crystal. Follow her on Instagram at Crystal Johnson. Follow her on Facebook, the official Crystal's Time Machine Facebook page, the official Crystal's Time Machine group page, and Game Show fan page. And also follow her on YouTube, Crystal Johnson, one exclusive video a week. And also follow Say hello to Broadway Pizza, the official sponsor of Crystal's Time Machine. And if you say the promo code Crystal's Time Machine, you get two dollars off your meal. So that's pretty, pretty good. And now back to the future presentation. In 2023, local news in your city or town is probably covered by a online um, publication from your city or town, or by maybe uh, a news um, website that is a, like a patch.com. And at one time, many cities and towns used to have daily newspapers or weekly newspapers telling you all the stories that were going on in your town, also selectmen meetings or city council meetings or other board meetings or events that were happening in your town and also um, ads for like legal notices and commentary and also the police log which you know you don't want to be in the police log and also obituaries where people passed away and also puzzles and classifieds for possible jobs this was years and years ago but um, when the internet started to come around, these newspapers were dying off one by one because of the internet. They could not keep up with it. Some of them tried to launch online editions, and some of them were very successful. Some of them weren't. Um, and at one time, Several cities and towns had weekly newspapers, which was owned first by community newspapers and eventually owned by um, the net, which runs the USA Today. And many of these newspapers that were weekly was showing regional stories from nearby cities and towns, which that was not very good because who wants to read about something, a uh, human interest story that's halfway across the state? Not too many people. In about May of 2022, um, Net Company announced that it was just closing down all of the weekly newspapers for print, making them digital only, which 
that was not good at all, kind of sad, but we're trying to save money. And usually, um, smaller, uh, mid-sized, smaller towns in, all over the United States um, really do not get too many stories um, in regional or big-time newspapers unless if it's a major story now these days. And also, um, with them being no, like the mid-sized newspapers and smaller cities and towns, um, they've been consolidation with like other bigger papers in the area, and some of them used to have beat reporters for certain cities and towns, which covered um, the school committee, the board, um, select board or city council, but they've eliminated those jobs, and many of these um, meetings don't have any media representatives anymore, so it's usually the residents now who poor will go, some of them go to these meetings and have to post it on Facebook or a personal, um, unofficial news paid um, news site for the city and town. And with newspapers, you know, dying off um, more and more than ever before, most, most of the news coverage for um, cities and towns are going to be n almost non-existent. And that's not really good at all, in my humble opinion, because some people who want to take a be a reporter or photographer and try to make it big, um, they get this, they usually get their starts in um, newspapers, but now with everything going online now and they have to do the dreaded paywall for some stuff, their work might not be seen by a lot of people. There's still people who buy newspapers. And local news should really be covered um, 100%. But it's not. That's sad. And that's my take. Thanks for um, making it to the end. I will talk to you soon.